The role of Chris Booth is temporarily being played by Marsh Mokhtari. I love making love to you in the morning. I love it too. And I love you. Something the matter? I was just thinking about everything that happened last night. The mansion getting robbed, Pilar getting shot. All on the heels of you getting shot right outside the cottage. Sheridan, I'm fine. And Pilar will be too. I just can't understand how the burglar got a hold of my family's alarm code. Well, it must be like you said. Rebecca got it from Julian, and then she gave it to one of her escorts. Yeah, I guess so. At least Luis is on the case. If anyone can find out who robbed the mansion and shot Pilar, it's Luis. And he won't rest until whoever hurt his mother pays and pays dearly. That goes for anyone who's ever helped the guilty party. I'm gonna shower and shave. I'll start breakfast. Now, let's go out for breakfast this morning. You know, my treat. Really? I, I would love to. Well, great. Oh, my. You are ravenous this morning, eh? <sighs> Luckily, I can't get enough of you either. Mm. You know, I want you to hold that thought till later. I just want you to know how grateful I am and how blessed I feel to have you and James in my life. After the mansion being robbed and Pilar being shot, I know I can feel safe and sound with you. I can trust you with my life. Well, you know, I'm hardly a knight in shining armor. But you are to me. You're the one man who will never hurt or disappoint me. All the other men in my life have let me down. Even Luis. You know, I'm so proud of you, Sheridan. You were amazing to watch. Luis is a good teacher. Yeah, I could see that. The way Fancy and he moved in sync together. I would never have guessed that that was Fancy's first time doing the tango last night. Well, they really had chemistry together. I mean, you could feel it with every move and every, every look. My muffin's a little gooey. How's you? yours? That's no, fine. You want something else? Oh, no, I've had my fill for now, thanks. So what do you want to do today? Well, now's as good a time as any to tell you. I've been thinking about what to do ever since I lost Marty and our baby. I want to have a purpose. I want to get involved in something outside the home. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love being your wife, and I love being a mother to James. But he's going to be in preschool soon, and I don't want to spend my days filling my days. I want to work. What? As in get a job? Not just any job. One at Crane. So good for you. So what would you do at Crane? Well, since Fancy left her job to train to be a cop, I thought I'd talk to Teresa about taking over Fancy's job in fashion design. I was on the best dress list every single year I lived in Europe. I mean, when I came back to Harmony for what was supposed to be a quiet life, I got away from all of that, but fashion's in my blood, so... Why not make it a career? Exactly. I think it sounds perfect. And since Teresa opened a daycare center at the Crane Complex, I can have James at the office with me. This, this is just all too, too perfect. So I have your blessing. <sighs> Go knock it out of the park. Thank you, sweetheart. Are you... Mm. you know, great minds, they must think alike, because I've been thinking about it for a while as well. Really? Getting back into the workforce. Wow, really? I wanted to get James settled in after Maureen's death. And thanks in large part to you, my son is doing better than I dared to hope. Yeah, and the Rugrat's not even your son. So, it's about time that I go ahead and get an accounting job. Are you allowed to work in accounting again? After your involvement in the mob and being in the witness protection program? Well, yeah, as long as I fly right. Which I swear I will do. I know. Why don't you work at Crane? I'm sure if I ask, Teresa will hire you. Just think. 
If you work at Crane, the three of us can go in together every day. We can drop James off at daycare, and we can take turns visiting him during the day. You know, I, I appreciate the offer, but I just don't feel comfortable taking a job at the company. I want our marriage and our jobs to be separate. Why? Because I want to be an independent man. Independent of Crane's family money. Independent of yours and of the company's. I mean, can, can you understand that? Oh, Chris, wow, I mean, not only do I understand, I, I love you even more for it. You do? Yes, all my life men have used me for my money. I mean, Luis and Antonio weren't like that, and I know you're not either, but refusing to let me help you makes me have so much more respect for you and see what a wonderful man you are. That is an idiot. What a golden opportunity I shared and pass him by. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. Mm, Chris, hi. hi. I'm um, surprised to see you guys here. Chris was just treating me to breakfast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, go on, please, join us. Oh, well, thank you. getting a text message. Damn. Something the matter with James? No, just a headhunter trying to get in touch with me. Excuse me for a moment. <sighs> you looked tired, didn't you sleep well? No, I did not, and neither did Ethan. Mm. Yeah, last night was intense with Pilar being shot and the mansion being robbed. Yeah. But, uh, it's more than that. You know, it's, it's Teresa. I thought Teresa was letting go, moving on, giving up on Ethan for good. Well, in some ways, she is. Then what's the problem? It's Ethan. I'm not sure if he can let her go. Why would you think Ethan can't let go of Teresa? Because it bothers him so much to see her moving on with Jared. He didn't actually say that, did he? No, I mean, he denies having feelings for her, but I know better. You know, he says he loves me and that he chooses me, but the way he looks at her, Sheridan, I mean, it's so obvious he's still in love with her. So I told him he needed to make a choice. You know, if he wants to be with Teresa, then he should be with Teresa, because I don't want to be married to a man who's in love with another woman. But he chose you. You know, he always does. And I don't know if it's out of obligation or if it's because he really does love me and wants to be with me more than he wants to be with Teresa. I'm sorry you're going through this. I so want to believe that Ethan's with me because I have his heart. But at this point, I'm just really afraid that part of his heart's still with Teresa. You know, enough about me. You and Chris seem to be doing great. <sighs> He's wonderful. Oh, um, we both decided we want to work like you and Ethan do. I'm going to speak to Teresa about taking over Fancy's job at Crane. That sounds perfect. Yes. And I offered to get Chris a job in Crane Accounting, but he turned me down. He said he wants to be his own man. He doesn't want my help or my money. Oh, honey, that's a relief. It is. <laughs> I can completely trust Chris. He has no agenda, no secrets, no connection to my father at all. I mean, Chris is exactly who he says he is. My advice is to give the situation with Ethan some time. Hey, but why? You know, every time things come to a head and Ethan, you know, chooses me over Teresa, I sit back, I wait for him to prove he means it by distancing himself from her, but Teresa always finds a way to draw him back in. But that was before Teresa decided to move on. Yeah, so now it's a case of Ethan wanting what he can't have? Teresa just started dating Jared. Ethan probably needs a little time to let it sink in, just like Luis did when he learned I was dating Chris. I wonder where Chris disappeared to. Chris? Chris? Looks like I won't have to go to Sharon after all. She's coming straight to me. Man, I can't wait to see the look on her face when she finds out what a bad boy her lying father husband's been. 